we have issues with where is our country going right now? We got trying to compete with China. People are saying that China is going to win. What's going on with taxes and all this kind of stuff? We talked about this earlier with the bond market. Mm -hmm. Part of the reason the bond market is still doing well, even though people are, you know, moving the stocks because the bond market doesn't pay anything, is that the wealthy people in other countries are always going to bet on America. So what uh, Daniel was telling us is that there's uh, wealthy people all over the country or all over the world that are in countries where, you know, they might lose all their wealth and they're willing to spend, in this case, uh, you, you had to spend 20% of your wealth just to move your money out of the country. Mm -hmm. And he said, why would you spend 20% just to move it somewhere else? Well, I'd rather have 80% of my money than a hundred percent of it being gone at some point. That's because, true. I, again, you're, you're talking about countries that don't have very stable uh, governments. Things change a lot. Mm -hmm. And if, if all I'm worried about is not losing my principal, then I'm going to put it in the U S bond market mm -hmm. where I'm not going to make any money, but I'm not going to lose it. Now in most people's mind, if you're not keeping up with inflation, you're losing it. But, I'd rather lose it at, you know, three, four, five percent, yeah, than lose all of it. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you know, and you you said something. People are always going to bet on on the U U S to right. to succeed. You know, when someone, you know, I'm just this is just my opinion. When someone tells me something will always happen or will never happen, I usually bet against that. You know, well, that's the because, okay. Let's put it this way: the yeah. vast majority of people are going to bet on on America. Yeah, yeah, cause, because you know, it is the most stable. You know, let's talk about, you know, investor people, you know, when people believe something will always or will never happen, um, it l usually leaves them blind to. That, that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, lastly, on the uh, battle with, with, with China, um, and he pointed out something that uh, really made a lot of sense. And I didn't think about this. China is doing very well uh, because they are bribing most of the country. Um, for example, they put a port in Sri Lanka and they, you know, had terms with Sri Lanka mm -hmm. that they could not, um, actually follow through with. So they eventually repossessed the port. Of course. So now yeah. there's a little piece of China in Sri Lanka because they repossessed it and they still are charging them money, uh, because they're behind in their payment. So basically what he is saying is that Beyond what you think of our, our, our government when it changes hands and people do silly things because most of the politicians have never had businesses in the first, in the first place. Um, but our America at its core has uh, values that people want to aspire to. Yeah. And for the most part, we're not bribing uh, other countries to hang with us. We're giving them an opportunity yeah, they're we're, better themselves. We're, we're better at, at silencing it or keeping it quiet or we're not doing well, it. I don't know. I'm, which I'm one. not saying we haven't made yeah. our own mistakes, but yeah. if you look around the world, who do you want to hit your wagon to? Oh someone yeah. When you, the, when, what the core values that correct. we have or someone that uh, exactly is going to uh, have an do you want a fair end. Yeah. Do you want a core value of, you know, like, you know, the, the quote American dream, like where you can aspire to, right. to better yourself, better your, your position in life, better your family. Like, I will subscribe to that all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came out of that meeting with uh, uh, a little bit more of a smile uh, because, <laughs> you know, you get pounded to death with what's going on in the, in the news. I, I, can't, I don't, mm -hmm. I try to stay away from the news, but I do watch the business channel because I want to see what's going on in the markets, but you always get a uh, little bit of commentary on uh, our governments. And uh, I'm, I'm not as concerned. Again, you go back to, you can't control what's not controllable by you. So just navigate it as it comes. And for the most part, uh, the U.S. is still going to be uh, the best bet uh, mm -hmm. in the world economy. What you can control is what you do and how you react. Yeah. And Those two things. Well, and uh, the folks that you want to be around. Sure. Right. 